Hello everyone, this is me Farid Fana, your friend guide and instructor in this channel. The classic extrude, rotate and revolve work. In this video, we're gonna work with 3D and 3D materials and all other stuff. So let's jump to our computer screen. To see how our 3D works, first we need to have a shape, text or something to work on that. Now go to effects, 3D and materials, extrude and bevel. This is the same as the classic ones, but with a few extra options. Let's check the menu. We had rotate. Here we have the plane rotation in X axis, Y axis, and Z axis. We can extrude it. And we can revolve it from here. So plane, extrude, revolve. Here we have extrude, revolve, and rotate. Rotate is the plane one. Revolve is the revolve one and extrude is the extrude one. What we have in Slate, which is extra and which is really helpful and really effective, we will come on that. In classic ones, when you are adding depth, you are just adding some points or value, but here you have a slider. We also have twist here. We didn't have any twist in our previous versions or in our classic one. We have tapper. This is also added to our new or 2023 versions or 2024. And cap which is also available in your previous versions. Then we have bevel. If you want to add bevels, first turn it on, then change the design of bevel to round, to steps, or any other shapes which matches your design. I don't need it. We have rotation on which, which axis do you want to rotate your 3D object or 3D design? X axis, Y axis, or Z axis. And we have perspective. Same as classic one, but with slight changes, two things are added, twist and tapper. I just need half of it. Go to revolve. Yeah. This is how your revolve works. You can also change the light direction from here or position. We have light somewhere in here. Here it is. Where do you want light? You can change the light, do you want a standard one, diffused one, top left, right, the intensity or color, which color do you want the light, is it yellow, is it red, is it pink, is it orange, we can change their intensity from here, we can also add another light, where do you want it, bottom, with lower intensity, do you want shadows, if yes turn it on, then distance, shadow bounds, behind object, below object. This is how you can set up your lights. Now let's see how materials work. Go to materials. First of all, you have a default material. We can also add some other materials which are already added to our illustrator. Repeat, roundness, increases intensity to add some more details. Wrinkle amount, how much wrinkle do you want? Is it zero or do you want more? And we have rotation offsets, position offsets, sorry. You can change their positions. We can rotate it. See how amazing this new 3D and 3D materials works for you guys. This is also I'll also create a video how many options are added to 2024 or how many other tools do we have in 2024. So chill, sit back and relax. We will cover them all. If we come back to object, we have inflate. What is inflate? For example, let's create these three shapes. Go to our window pathfinder and divide them, ungroup them. So we have three shapes. Change their color so you can see the difference. And select all of them. Go to Inflate. When you have selected multiple options, we can't do changes in Inflate. We can change it or them one by one. Click on this one, add some depth or not. Let's go to Light. We can change the light settings. Or direction we can also change it to view real-time tracing so it's more realistic 
click on all of them, change it to real time. We can also do it with our text. Go to option or right click, create outline, select both of them, go to window, pathfinder, divide them, right click and group them, select all of them, go to object, click on inflate. Click this one, make it real time and this one as well. You can also convert your text to inflate as well. You have the free hand, the limitation is your imagination. This is how inflate our 3D materials work. I hope you guys understood. These are some basic information or basic instructions. Whatever is in your mind, which are related to 3D, you can do it here. Not creating objects. For modeling, we have specific applications like 3D Max, Cinema 4D, Maya, Blender, whichever works well for you or whichever is your favorite one. Saw that one. If you guys have patience, we will also start those courses or those softwares too. For now, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon so you guys can keep yourself updated from the course which will be covered in this channel.